friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today I'm gonna to be doing a little first impressions with the new OMFG Cosmetics Sugar and Sweets palette. The brand did reach out recently wanting to send it to me and I said yes, I'm absolutely down to try more pastel shadows. I posted about it on my Instagram stories and so many of you really wanted to see a video with this, so here we are today. The packaging, while it's not totally my style as far as it being like a funky shape, I do think it's cute. I don't feel like it's overly bulky. It's just not like a traditional like rectangle. My husband Zane actually thought that this was super cute. <laughs> the inside's really cute as well. It's not like anything outlandish. It's just nice cardboard packaging. There's no mirror, which doesn't bother me because I don't need a mirror in every palette. That can be very wasteful. I love the shimmer choices in here. I think they're really beautiful, especially that light blue, which I did feature in today's look. I really like the matte choices as well as far as the shades go. I like that it's not all just like pastels. It's mostly pastels, but I like that there's those couple pops of deeper shades to just add some more depth and interest to your look. You still are going to get an overall pastel vibe for the most part when you use this palette, but I like that you have some options that kind of dip you away from just the pastel zone. Obviously with my pastel palettes I already have, I could easily just dip into other palettes if I wanted to add more depth into my looks, but if you're someone who doesn't have a pastel palette and you've had your eye on one, maybe something like this is more up your alley where you can have some of those deepening shades without having to dip into another palette. It's all a personal preference thing. We all have different needs when it comes to makeup. But regardless, I'm excited about trying out this palette with you guys today. I can't promise I'll do a multiple looks video on this. I have a lot of palettes I'm working on that you guys want to see me do looks with. Maybe I'll play with it some more in the future. Time will tell, but regardless, I did do this look for you today, and I'll give you some thoughts thus far at the end. This isn't a full-on review because I've only used it this one time so far, but I will give you my thoughts thus far, and then stay tuned for my new makeup releases PR roundup review early next month if you want a more in-depth analysis on this palette. Also, before we get started, this is a Neff brand beanie. I don't know where this choker is from, and these plugs are from Here No Evil Jewelry. I do have a discount code with them now. It's Butte Bean in all caps. You get 10% off. I don't get any commission from that. It's not an affiliate code. It's just for you guys if you want to use it. That is all I have to say for now. Let's just hop into the look and I'll chat some more at the end. All right, hello. Let's dive into this palette and create a cute pastel look. I also want to play with some like graphic liner kind of situation. I feel like I don't play with my water activated liners enough on camera, but I also don't want to like overwhelm you guys with a technique that maybe a lot of you don't care about. So we're going to do it today regardless. Also in my PR package, OMFG did include this cotton candy highlight. I should have applied it on camera, but I forgot to, but it's what's on my face. Look how bright it is. I just kind of swirled it all together and kind of mixed it up. I'm sure you could probably just focus on one color if you wanted to, but I just went for that overall glow and it's really cute. They also included three brushes that I figured I would use today as well. Okay, let's get to priming and hop right in. I'm using my Smashbox lid primer in light today because it's my favorite. I'm just blending this out and I'm not going to set it because as you know if you've been here before, I don't prefer to do that. I have used OMFG shadows before. I've never used like these circle pans. I've only used the square pans from them. I don't know if there's a difference. We will find out today. Buddy, go back to bed. My cat has been sleeping so soundly in this room and now as soon as it's time to film, he wants to get out. Felix, do you wanna leave? I'll let you out. All right, now that he's taken care of, <laughs> let's just hop into this. I wanna start by taking this purple shade down here, this darker purple. I do like that there's kind of a mix of like pastels and then more like regular tones. I think that's nice, honestly. I'm gonna take this brush. There's no name on it. Yes, there is. It's the OM21. <laughs> it's just kind of like a packing brush, but like a little bit fluffier. And that's exactly what I want for this outer corner situation. So I want this to be kind of my outer corner shade. I might deepen it up a little bit with that brown. We will decide as I get there. I might, I may or may not. And I'm just going to kind of fluff this out here and lightly use the kind of fluffier parts of this brush to help blend the edges. But I am going to use another shade to help blend this out as well. I'm going to go ahead and tuck this under that lower lash because why not? I'm not really gonna do a half cut crease today. I just wanna have just like a very blended pretty eyeshadow look, especially cause I am gonna do some graphic liner. I don't wanna have like too much going on as far as like lots of cuts and things going on and then graphic liner on top of that. That color is really pretty and it seems to have stuck well. So that's nice. I'm gonna use this fluffy brush now from OMFG. It's the OM20 brush. And with that, I'm gonna take this lavender shade. It's very cute. We'll see what it looks like on the eyes. I'm only going to focus this on the outer half of my crease, kind of where this darker purple is, because I want the inner portion of my crease to be the light blue. kind of want to focus on like the blues and purples for the shadow, and I think for my graphic liner I'm going to do 
lavender and baby pink just to kind of have some differences. I'm just gonna kind of work this through the crease. As I say with most pastel palettes, you are gonna get a little more pop if you used a white base. I personally don't have a white base. All I have is the white ColourPop No Filter Concealer and that's just not my favorite thing to apply eyeshadow on top of, so that's why I'm just not using a white base. But if you really want like the super pastels to pop, I would go in with a white base. But this seems to be doing decent enough. I'm not having the easiest time necessarily blending out that darker purple, but it's also not like horrible. I just have to use a little more patience with it is all. For now, I'm going to take the pastel blue here. Very cute color. And I'm going to take this fluffy brush from ColourPop. It's the E2, one of my all-time favorite blending brushes, actually. And I'm just going to start fluffing that through the front portion of my crease. I have a feeling I'm going to be dipping in quite a few times just because it is quite light, but with pastels, it doesn't surprise me. I'm not expecting like crazy punchy pigmentation right off the bat, although that's building up really nice. I'm okay with that. But yeah, I'm simply just blending and swirling this through that front portion of my crease up towards my brow. Ooh, I really like that blue. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit more of that pastel purple and just kind of go ham with it out here just so it can blend into that blue nicely so we have just like a nice soft transition. I'm not too worried about what's going on on the lid right there. I know that looks kind of scary. I'm going to be putting a shimmer on the lid anyways, so it doesn't really matter too much. I'm taking just a teensy bit more of that darker purple that we first started with. And with very, very, very light pressure, I'm just lightly kind of adding some more in and dusting it so that it can just have a little bit more depth in the outer corner. I feel like I'm getting some weird patchiness where it's like, super harsh where it's by itself and then it just like fades into nothing where I had the other shade. Hmm. I mean it won't be a huge deal once I put my shimmer on but if I wanted this to just go like all over the lid and blend out I think I would have a hard time with that. I feel like overall it's not doing like scary scary things so I think we're good to move forward. I want to take this beautiful blue shimmer. The shift in it looks so pretty and I want that on my eyes so bad. I'm going to take my NYX Glitter Primer in this OMFG brush. It's the OM30. I'm just going to pop a little glitter primer on there. I use the NYX Glitter Primer with every shimmer ever. It helps make my shimmers pop so much and I just adore it. Just packing this all over the lid, trying to avoid like the actual crease. Now I'm going to pick up that lovely shimmer blue. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. We're just going to start packing that guy on. I'm just running this across the lid, like as you do if you're just packing a shadow on the lid. No crazy technique here. Not doing a cut crease. The purple shift that's running through that is so pretty. It's like a subtle shift, but it's really pretty. It reminds me of like, like a glacier or something like that. Just going to very lightly buff the edge just so it's soft. I'm going to add a little bit more of that matte pastel blue just in the front. I really like the way that color pops. I think overall that looks really nice. Now that like kind of the lid shades on, that pulled together really, really nicely. Okay, I like that, I like that. For my inner corner highlight, I figured I might as well dip into the face highlight because why not? I think I'm gonna focus on just the green. If it's ugly, then I'll top it with the lid shade. I'm just gonna swirl that. By the way, this smells like cupcakes. I don't know if the palette smells like anything. I didn't smell it. The palette smells like nothing. <laughs> But the highlight smells like cupcakes. It's quite nice. And that's a cute little inner corner. Just a nice, soft, little minty situation. Ooh, I think that's quite cute. Let's hope I don't completely ruin this graphic liner. I should have been smart and did my eyes first because now if I mess up, I'm gonna have to do my whole face again. <laughs> Ooh, wish me luck. So I'm gonna use two from Glam Vice. I'm gonna use Gelato and Pink Velvet. OMFG Cosmetics actually does have their own water activated liners and she offered to send me some. She asked if I've tried any before and I did say, yeah, I have the Glam Vice ones. Like I didn't insist that I try hers because I don't need to be wasteful and try like multiple things, but OMFG does have water activated liners. I can't attest to how they are. I've only ever used the Glam Vice and I like these. As I've said before, these do have a bit of a learning curve, I feel like. You kind of have to just kind of practice with the amount of water that you mix in with them until you get like a good consistency. I want it to be purple down here and then just kind of wing up and then fade into the pink up here. I think that'll be really cute and I think the pink will be a nice little pop against the top. Purple and blue would have been cute too but I want just something to just add even more to this pastel element. So I just have a little dish of water in front of me and I'm just going in with my brush and just adding water until I have a nice creamy consistency that I personally like. Again it's very like 
You just kind of got to find that perfect balance for yourself. <laughs> I like it when it's kind of creamy like this. I don't know how well you'll be able to tell, but that's kind of when I like it. I'm going to have a hard time talking while I do this. I'll try my best. I'm going to start by just drawing like a little line right across the bottom of my lid. Whew, something like that. Okay, off to a good start. And then I'm going to start drawing that little bit of a wing, kind of like that. I've only ever done like a graphic liner like this one other time and it went really well, but I'm trying to be cautious because I can't promise I'll do as well this time. I'm just kind of going in now and filling in my wing like a normal winged liner. I get questions about these liners a lot too. They do crack a little bit throughout the day, but not so much that it looks like atrocious. I feel like it's an amount that I would expect almost. I don't know if that makes sense. Ooh, okay. We have the purple down. Do I want to just do purple maybe? I'm scared of tempting fate so I think I might just do purple because I'm scared to like mix colors and then like cause a disaster. Okay, <laughs> sorry for chickening out. I have a little bit more of the purple and just like starting at the tip of this I'm just gonna kind of swoop. It's one of those things you just kind of got to go with it. I like to keep my eye kind of totally open with this so I can like see where it's gonna look when my eyes totally open. Oh no, bad things are happening, bad things are happening. <laughs> I kind of messed up. It went a little too thick here. I'm gonna wait for it to totally dry and then I'm gonna try to go over it with some shadow. I'm stressed, okay, I'll be back. Okay, really quick, I decided how I'm fixing this. I'm just taking a little brush here and I have it kind of dampened with, dampened, I have it kind of sticky with some glitter glue. And I'm just going back over that shimmer, just kind of like reversing it now that the liner's dry. And I'm just kind of filling it in where I want and it won't be perfect, but it'll be decent and I'll be able to live with it because I do work today. So yeah, that's kind of my plan. I know like this liner got a little thick and it kind of covered up a lot of what I'm doing, but we're just having fun. It's okay. All right, I'm going to like perfect this a little bit more and then I'll be back when everything is done. <laughs> All right, hello. This is the look. I think it came out really good. I know my graphic liner got like a bit thick and out of hand, but overall I think the finished look is really cute. I'm sure it'll annoy some of you that I like pretty much covered up all of my like outer corner work, but whatever, you know, I played with the palette. You guys saw what the look could have been if I just threw on mascara and called it a day, but I wanted to have some fun and play with some liner and I, I like this overall look. I think it's cute. I feel good about it. I'm glad that I stuck with just the purple as well. I feel like if I would have done the pink with it, it might have been a hot mess. <laughs> the eye pencil I paired with this is White Smoke from NYX. My lashes are Posh from MOTD Cosmetics. I just wanted something small and flared out just to give my eye look a nice statement by itself. And on my lips, I went with the new ColourPop Land ColourPop. What's this called? This is the Let's Chill Lip Balm from the ColourPop Land ColourPop collaboration thing. I'm very into tinted lip balms right now, especially because today I'm working, I'm wearing a mask all day, so lip balm's gonna be great just to keep me moisturized and good to go. So yeah, this is the look. I guess I'll zoom out and give you my thoughts on the palette thus far. All right, hello, welcome back. <laughs> I, I'm really happy with this look. I think overall it came out really nice. I know I had some struggle with my liner, but I'm happy with it overall. What do you guys think of this palette? Did you end up picking this up? I know it's been out for a little while. Do you have your eye on this? Is this something you're gonna pass on? I'm very interested in hearing your thoughts down below. OMFG Cosmetics is a very cutesy style indie brand. I feel like all of their stuff is just very like cutesy themed. So if you are interested in that kind of vibe and you are looking at trying a new indie brand, uh, I'd recommend checking them out. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me a sweet emoji. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Please make sure you're continuing to stay informed and educated with Black Lives Matter. There's a link in my description box that will take you to resources on ways in which you can help. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.